What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris. On this show today, my friends, we're talking about something serious, something I don't do too much. On YouTube, I'm always goofing and acting a fool on here and bringing y'all reviews, but today it's a kind of a serious subject, which it, actually it is a serious, it's not kind of. I'm here today to ask for prayers and maybe some help if people can help. Um, some of you may know this, some of you may not. I have a long distant relationship with a Filipino for a couple years now, and her name's Beverly. Her sister, which I know her as Beth, uh, son Ethan, is two years old, I think, in eight months. I may be a little wrong, but I know he's over two years old. Um, he needs a major heart surgery. I hope my voice don't go out, because I'm still trying to get well, so y'all bear with me. But Ethan needs a major heart surgery. And from what I understand, in the Philippines, it's not like here in the U.S. You live here in the U.S., you have a kid that's sick, with well, anything major need to be done, even if you can't afford it, as a parent, you care them, see doctors, they give you bills to pay on, you go get the major surgery done, and you pay it the best way you can, but it's nothing up front, and it's just the way it is here. I, from what I understand, the Philippines is not like that. Major surgeries, you know, they, they want the, they'll do the surgery, but they want the money, and they want it up front. And many of you may know, um, especially if you live in the Philippines, you definitely know this, um, they don't have a lot of resources, and they don't have a lot of money. Um, a lot of the families there work uh, OFW, and that's just the way they make their living. And they send their money back home to their families. So when something major like this comes up, it's hard for them to come up with large sums of money. And for what I understand, for him to have this open heart surgery, uh, it's got like a blockage. I'll put the picture in here, what the little diagram they draw it up if I can, somewhere. And it's a blockage on one side, it's like a growth. And he needs to have that fixed as soon as possible. Um, I think they said it's going to be 800,000 pesos, Filipino pesos, which is like roughly over 13 thousand US dollars is what it would cost here so it's quite expensive um, Ethan also has a feeding tube he's had since he's been born um, that's how he gets his food um, that's another surgery that he's gonna need to have after the heart surgery uh, have that feeding tube removed uh, but right now I'm just focusing on trying to get the heart surgery done so I guess I'm here today to ask uh, if you can help in any way prayers are all, always you know a blessing to have but there is a GoFundMe page that I set up here in the U.S. because they can't set it up from what I've seen in the Philippines. And they didn't ask me to do this. I did this on my own. And I'm going to put, you see the link here, but below this video, there's a link to the GoFundMe page. And you can click on that and you can go there and make a donation. Um, I think we set, I, I set them out like 17,000 U.S. dollars. If we just get a thousand, two thousand, whatever we can get would definitely help uh, the family. Um, like I said, Ethan has needs all the time with his feeding tubes and stuff being changed out. No matter the heart surgery, he's got expenses that they have there all the time and back and forth to the doctor. So we're trying to raise any money we can. I said it at 17000 cost. It was over 13000 for the surgery. And then after that, he's going to need the feeding tube. I believe they're going to try to get it removed. And that's another surgery. So any extra money would go to that. So you can go to the GoFundMe page down below this video. Uh, put the link, not right here you've seen in the video, but below this video in the description, I think it is, or see more. And you can click on that and it'll go to the GoFundMe. And it'll have the actual write up of everything that his mother shared. Uh, I'll also will put her Facebook page, her full name. So if you want to go to her Facebook page to make sure this is legit, you can. Um, you can type that on Facebook and see where she's posting about her son. So just trying to help out, um, helping others, that's what I like to do. I'd rather help more people. I'd rather give than take. That's just how I am. And if any way we can help this family out, it would be great. Um, if you can help any way financially, that would be great. I'm also going to put below, uh, I know in the Philippines it's called Gcash. She has her Gcash number that she shared. I'll put that below too. You can also send money to her that way if you decide you want to do it that way. But as the money comes in, we get some money through the GoFundMe. I'll send it to her, um, and she'll, I'll show you the updated pictures on the GoFundMe page once she receives the money. And it may take a while. I'm just, just taking a shot in the dark that um, some people can help. Uh, some have already done um, some help already, and I appreciate that. You know who you are. And that's pretty much going to wrap this up because I'm about to lose my voice. Um, like I said, it's ain't about me, not about YouTube today. It's just about helping helping others. I'm going to put a couple pictures in here so you can see Ethan. Um, 
in a little short video you can see where they have to change his dressing out every day if I can get that up in here I'll show that so he struggles through a lot every day for the little man but he's tough so with your help hopefully he can get the surgery done and live a long strong life but guys until the next time keep safe and keep tubing Oh, 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 oh,